these are the 10 best songs Bandmade has ever made, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. What's up, guys? Welcome to Local Band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from anywhere in the entire world. I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another local band, Smokeout. I am your host, is higher the most, BG, and it has been quite a while since I've done a uh, a band made reaction. So I thought we'd go balls to the wall and just go ahead and do my my favorite top ten band made songs. Uh, when I saw them live, I don't know nine ten months ago, it was an absolutely amazing experience. One of the only times I've been to a show where there wasn't an opening band too, which I found interesting, but they absolutely crushed it. <laughs> Making this list was an absolute nightmare. I know no one is going to agree with my list. In fact, there's so many amazing band-made songs. Putting them on just a ten top 10 list was pretty much almost impossible. Um, but I did, I did my best. And with that being said, we're going to go from 10 all the way down to number one. And uh, hopefully at least some of these songs make it on your list. In fact, please comment below. And let me know if you were to make a 10, 10 to 1 bandmade list, what would you have on yours? Go in order from 10 to 1. That being said, <clears throat> my number 10 song is to get this started. Is Ryan. I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be Renee, but uh, I, I believe it's Ryan. Um, that's my number 10. It is such a catchy hook. Uh, absolute perfection from Psyche and uh, Miku on this one. Always loved how the video has like a very gritty VHS kind of style look to it. But it's just a really, really cool, fun song. And uh, a song that I didn't even discover from them until a lot, a lot later on. Um, uh, as regarding like when I was checking out all of their music. Because I believe we have a reaction video for every single song in their catalog. But this one always stood out to me, and, and I always loved the video. So that is going to be my number 10 song right there. Number 9 is going to be Blooming. Absolutely love Blooming. Blooming is so good. It's It's got really cool, fast, aggressive riffs and, and, and drums throughout it. It's super, super catchy. And I feel like Blooming is absolutely going to be on a lot of your guys' list. Just because that song absolutely rules, man. It's so, so good. Number nine, blooming right there. And I'm telling you, this list was so hard to make. Scribbled out a bunch of different things. Uh, I think a lot of you know what my favorite song already is from Band Main, but you'll be surprised to see if it made it at number one. But regardless, number eight right here. Number eight is Don't You Tell Me. Uh, arguably one of their best videos they ever made too. Uh, Psyche absolutely shines in this one. Uh, and then I put... Uh, fans always know what to do on the hook. It's it's just one of those hooks where when they play this one live, you you know what to do at the exact same spot uh, in, in the song, and it's super catchy. And it's actually, I believe, it's this is one of the first music videos I ever saw of theirs. Uh, was "Don't You Tell Me," and, and again, just it's one of those ones where when they're performing it, the song comes on, the hook happens, fans know exactly what to do. Um, during a live performance, which makes it, which makes the shows more fun when when the fans start screaming and and sing back to the band, that's really cool. Number seven is a little bit of a shocker, I think. I'm going with Manners, but it's the acoustic version of Manners. Uh, this one is just Psyche and Konami performing, and Konami does a lot of vocals in this particular performance, which I absolutely love. She doesn't normally do that, and on on uh, most of their electric sets i guess i'll say so i thought that was really really cool when i when i got to check that one out back in the day and you see konami doing vocals with her um and it's just a really raw stripped performance where psyche's just pouring her heart out it's just the two of them really really beautiful performance so manners acoustic coming in at number seven uh before before we continue on through six through one i almost put a band maiko song on my top 10 list. So I don't have a particular song I'm gonna name, but if I was gonna have a number 11, 11 out of uh, 11 through one, I probably would have put Ban Mako 
uh, at number 11. But number six is for sure the first song I ever heard from Bandmade, and that is Unleash. I had never heard a single song from them prior to this. I saw the like uh anime style thumbnail for the for the music video and i was like what is this and i clicked it and i believe that's how i discovered band made um it, it's also the hook is super super catchy and i love how twangy the guitar tone is when uh the the hook comes in it just has like a cool little twangy funkiness to it when konami's playing so number six is gonna be unleashed for me um number five Man, the top five right here. The top five were brutally tough to figure out. Number five is Domination. And I, I love the, the hello, hello. I love the hook on this one with the hello, hello part right there. Konami's riffs absolutely rule on this song. It's just a aggressive, playful, fun, rocking, like all kind of combined at the same time. So uh, Domination right there is going to be my number five. And it only gets harder. It only gets harder from here. This is this is so hard. Number four, I put as uh, I put Thrill, which I believe Thrill is their most viewed music video, which is awesome. It's got millions and millions of views. Um, the guitar riffs rock. It's again crazy catchy, and it dropped over nine years ago, but it's still just kind of like getting buzz nonstop for Bandmate, which I love. How that song just kind of keeps coming around and, and is a fan favorite and for sure i like i believe i said it's it's one of the most viewed music videos that they have so uh thrill right there is uh number four and then we have our top three. Oh my gosh i i scribbled these top three back and forth so many different times not knowing if this one should be three this one should be two one etc cetera, etc cetera. and i think this this number three one is gonna really surprise you guys i'm going with freezer what freezer is my number three song from band made i i just always love the crazy crazy solo that konami has which very much reminds me of like a tom morello style of a uh, solo in this one and uh, it's, it's just another song that has just a cool guitar riff. It's got a little bit of aggressiveness, heaviness to it. Um, and it's a bit of an older song from them. But uh, I always thought this one was amazing when I was doing my my uh, deep dive for Bandmade and checking out every single song that they have. This one always stood out to me. And I'm pretty sure they don't really play it that often anymore. But if you do get to see this one live, you get definitely getting a really cool experience. So that is my number three and the top two, man, I went back and forth on these two. I am going, I'm going Moratorium. Moratorium is my number two bandmade song. It's one of the heavier songs that they have. Uh, when I saw them live, they did not play Moratorium, even though they played it the night before, and I was quite bummed. But it's still, the, the concert was amazing. And um, I don't know, how could you deny this song? Like this one also, I feel like is is a fan favorite to some people. It's just it's just heavy and chunky and has really cool metal vibes throughout it. So Moratorium is my number two and my number one song. You're like, BG, it has to be this one. It has to be this one. It has to be this one. You haven't named this song yet, this song yet. I know, how can you pick only 10? It's so hard. But if I had to pick my number one song, it's Choose Me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Choose Me yeah. is my number one song from Band Made. It's, it wasn't always my favorite, but it's as I go back and jam their music over and over again, it's it's become my absolute favorite. Uh, it has another crazy kick-ass solo from, uh, from Konami. There's a really cool fun break with Misa where she's just going crazy on the bass right there. Miku uh, just crushes it on on backing vocals on this one, and uh, it, it's just it's just my absolute favorite. It's it's one of those songs that's so catchy it sticks in my head for hours and hours on end, and I find myself singing it um, once I've you know completed the song and I walk away. I'm doing something just it's still just hanging in there, and uh, yeah, it's it's so damn good. So let's carry on. Let's carry on. You you'll know if you know the song. You'll know. 
that is my bandmate top 10. This, these are never easy to to construct a list for for bands when I do when I do the top 10s. This one was extremely difficult. Took me a couple of days to to work on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this though. Consider clicking the subscribe button for me if you did enjoy it. And uh, please again comment below and let me know what your bandmade top 10 list would look like going from 10 to 1 it is very very hard they have so many good tracks how could you only pick 10 i don't know but that's what the fun task is when i make these videos is somehow try and come up with a top 10 list so we did that and uh hopefully some of my songs made it on your list and uh, i'm sure there's some songs that you guys have suggested uh and then i've forgotten about it's, it's very possible but it's just an opinion thing and it's all out of fun it's all out of love for the maids um, at Bandmade on pretty much everything. Just search them if you're unfamiliar with who I'm even talking about during this entire video. They're amazing. Please support them. And if you ever get a chance to see them live, absolutely take that experience. I've only been able to see them live once and I had a blast. I would 110% go again. And not only that, uh, just the Bandmade community is so gracious and kind and loving. Um, when I went to see them live in at Anaheim at the House of Blues, there was a ton of people that were like, oh, you're BG, local band, small guy, blah, 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 blah. And they were just hugging, bought me drinks, and just, just the kindest fans ever. So you're going to go in there. Like, if you go there by yourself, you're only able to get one ticket, go. Because you will be treated with nothing but respect from their fans. They're just very, very cool, cool people. And I still have my uh, my bandmate. I should have worn him the video. My bandmate uh, red glasses that, that I was given um, at that show. I'm never throwing those things away. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, man. Um, localbandsmugout.com if you ever need me to shoot something for you. Any genre is accepted. Put your music into space, literally into the atmosphere. Uh, bandruption.com is 100% free to sign up for. You can find a link for that in the description of this uh, reaction video, as well as a link to our Patreon. If you'd like this show to grow and expand, me to be able to shoot more content on a regular basis, please consider checking that out. Um, or you can go to patreon.com slash local band BG. And uh, finally, if you're playing shows, especially here in the States, you got to have merch. It's very important. And I highly recommend mymerchguy.com. Use code LBS420 for an excellent discount. In fact, that discount could save you hundreds of dollars. Other than that, though, guys, I am your host. It's high the most BG saying cheers. Keep blazing and peace. I'll see you next time.